If you're looking for a super easy, simple makeup look that you can do in under 10 minutes and you can wear it to school, work, running errands, or even just sitting at home, this is for you. Especially if you're always rushing out the door and you don't have time for a million different products, you need something that's quick, easy, and makes you look and feel put together, you just came to the right place. I do this exact makeup look every single day and it takes me less than 10 minutes and I am out the door. I promise there's virtually no skill required to do this. I'm going to be using products you probably already have like tinted moisturizer or foundation so please do not feel like you have to run out and buy every single product I used if you don't already have it. Use what you have and apply it to your routine. But of course, either way, I'm going to be including all of the links to everything I use in the video in the description below. If you're new here, I'm Alicia, and if you're not, welcome back. Let's get into the easiest makeup look that you can wear for literally anything. The first thing I always do before even starting my makeup is skin prep. Now you may have heard of this, but the reason we do skin prep is because it actually really makes your skin look fresh throughout the day. If you have dry skin and you're putting makeup on top of dry patches, it can look cakey. If you have super oily skin and you're not controlling that oil production on the skin, your foundation can break up throughout the day. There are a ton of benefits to skin prep, but skin prep also depends on your skin type and the specific skin concerns you have. So for example, I have dry skin that's also acne prone. I have a couple baby breakouts here, but for the most part, when the months get cooler, I do focus on more hydrating ingredients. The first thing I love using every single morning is the road glazing milk. I'm so cautious of celebrity beauty and skincare brands, so I really did not want to like this, but trust me, it is worth the hype. This stuff is so good. It's literally glass skin in a bottle and genuinely has such incredible ingredients, especially if you have dry skin. But I will say if you have oily skin, you probably won't like this. It just instantly brought that life back into my skin. We also cannot forget about moisturizing. This is kind of what seals all that hydration in. I'm using the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I know she's pricey, but if there is one higher end skincare product you choose to invest in, let it be this. This is one of the best moisturizers I have ever used. It genuinely keeps the skin hydrated all day and look how beautiful it just made the skin look. And it also makes the skin feel so incredibly soft, I can't even explain it. Try to get a sample of this next time you go to Sephora. Trust me on this. Also, besties, SPF is a non-negotiable here. It is the best prevention tool. A lot of people think they shouldn't be wearing SPF in the winter and fall months. But last time I checked, the sun was still out. This is probably my third bottle of this SPF. It is the Innisfree Daily Defense Sunscreen. It's at Sephora, but it's at a pretty good price point. I believe it's about $16. This is also a Korean skincare brand, which is why I love it. When it comes to skincare, I will trust Korean skincare brands with my life. They know exactly what they're doing and their skin is literally my goal. If you don't have time in the mornings to do an elaborate skincare routine, I highly recommend getting a moisturizer that also has an SPF in it so that it's all you have to use in the mornings and it's two birds, one stone. Skin is skinning, okay? So that means we are ready to go into our makeup. For an everyday look, I love using a tinted moisturizer. If you hate wearing foundation because it just feels heavy on the skin, a tinted moisturizer would be perfect for you because it's gonna give you that coverage and even out your skin tone without feeling too greasy or cakey or heavy. And one of my favorite Favorite tinted moisturizers of all time is the one from Rare Beauty. This is in the shade 32N. I think I'm on my fourth bottle of this. As you can see, I'm very dedicated to the makeup I like. It's always really hard for me to try something new. If I'm recommending something I love, just know that I've used it forever. Now with tinted moisturizers, you can always just use your hands to kind of rub it into the skin and you could be good. But I just prefer using a brush. It just gives me the best coverage. This is the House Labs foundation brush. It is too good. You see how this tinted moisturizer just blended into my skin and it just looks like my skin, but better. This is just making the skin look so even and healthy. It's also covering up a little bit of the redness I have here. Exactly what I need for an everyday look. This is how it looks up close on the skin. You can't tell me that that doesn't look good. It's absolutely magical. Also, I don't know who started this trend of not putting your complexion products on your forehead. Whatever you put on your face, whether it's foundation, tinted moisturizer, you need to be putting it on your forehead. Otherwise, it's just gonna look so uneven. Trust me when I say in person, it's very, very noticeable. If you have foundation in certain parts of your face and not others. This step is optional if you are on a time crunch, but if you are somebody who has dark circles or a lot of darkness under the eyes, I highly recommend color correcting because it will change your life. I cannot live without this one. This is the one from Huda Beauty. This is their cherry blossom shade. And color correctors are gonna be different for you based off your skin tone. 
Because I'm more of a lighter medium shade, I always go for a pinky peach tone. This will correct out some of the darkness that comes from the veins in the area. See how that instantly just brightened up the under eyes? Now for an everyday look, sometimes I don't do this, but I do use it at least 90% of the time. It's one of those things that will make you look so much more awake. Your eyes are gonna look brighter. Your face is gonna look less dull. Our next step is concealer. We all love a bright under eye, right? But we've already color corrected, so we don't need to use a concealer that's three to four shades lighter. This is a trend that's been going around for so long, but I feel like it just draws unnecessary attention to the eyes in a bad way. Like if your foundation matches your face, but then this area of your eyes is just super super bright it actually doesn't look good in real life and also your photos don't come out as good because there will be flashback and you'll see that kind of harsh concealer line under the eyes so when it comes to choosing a concealer shade choose a shade that's the exact shade as your foundation or one shade brighter this one is one shade brighter than my foundation shade this is the nars creamy concealer in the shade macadamia and all you're gonna do you're gonna put concealer right here on the inner corners only you do not need a concealer triangle that just makes your under eyes look so incredibly cakey but this combination of color corrector and concealer is going to ensure that you don't see that darkness peeking through and you still have a bright under eye also you guys start using a concealer brush to blend out your concealer this just makes it look a lot more even because if you use a sponge it kind of soaks up a lot of the product and so you're going to get a patchy finish but here first of all see how fast that blended out and look how beautiful it looks it's just so incredibly smooth this is the house labs concealer brush and look how nice and bright and even the entire face looks next we want to go in with our cream products so if you're going to use a cream blush or cream bronzer this is the time to do it this is the milani cheek kiss bronzer in the shade spilling tea again always using a brush it gives you the best looking makeup this is the bk beauty 109 brush and you're just gonna pat in your bronzer a bronzer is very optional for every day most of the time i usually just wear some blush because it just gives you that pop of color to the face because it is fall i start reaching for my bronzer a lot more because those brown tones just warm up the face and you're always gonna look like you just got back from vacation. And then you can always use that same foundation brush that you used before to kind of diffuse it out so it's not too crazy. That just warmed up the face so nicely. Milani cream products are so good and at such a good price point at the drugstore. I'm using their Cheek Kiss Blush in the shade Nude Kiss. Rare Beauty Blush Brush. And we're just gonna add a little pop of color to the face and kind of melt that into the bronzer. You can actually do this entire makeup look with just your hands. You don't even need any tools. I just love makeup and I love learning how to make it look flawless and I feel like brushes make your makeup look genuinely so, so good. Like, look at that finish. Now you can use your blush or your bronzer with your hands and just apply some of that color to the lids. This is gonna give you so much more dimension, but again, you don't need to do this. I'm just giving you all of the options. As you can probably tell, the face is super shiny super glassy which we love but not in every single place so now we are going to set the skin with a pressed powder okay i love a good loose setting powder like this one this is the huda beauty setting powder but the thing with loose powders is it gives you a lot more coverage if you have oily or combo skin and you tend to see a lot more oil coming in through your makeup throughout the day i highly recommend you go in with a loose powder i prefer using a pressed powder for everyday makeup because it's going to set the skin without making it look too heavy which is our goal. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Luminous Perfecting Pressed Powder. You can just use a powder puff or a brush and I'm just going to press it into the under eyes. This is one of those setting powders that's it's just like invisible. Again, it doesn't feel like I have too much stuff sitting on my face. Setting the skin also helps your makeup last a lot longer throughout the day. So you wanna set pretty much everywhere. I think mascara is also a non-negotiable for daily makeup. Like you could use only a tinted moisturizer, you don't even need bronzer, you don't even need blush, but mascara. Trust me when I say it just changes the look of your entire face because it opens up your eyes. This is my favorite mascara of all time. I've been using this for the past, I don't know, two years, whenever it came out, I've been using it since then. This is the MAC Stack Mascara. The really cool thing about this mascara is that you can keep applying more and more layers and your lashes will get longer and longer but also you can control how long you want them to be like they don't have to look like spider lashes for an everyday makeup look i just want them to look a bit volumized and elongated and you can already tell the difference in this side versus this side one thing that's super important for making your face look kind of symmetrical and put together is your brow routine it took me a long time to figure out how to do my brows 
but these are my two main products that I use. The first product I use is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. And what I do first is I just kind of follow the shape of the brows and then shade them in. My brows are also microbladed from two years ago because they're incredibly thin. So I kind of have an advantage in the sense that I already have a little shape that I can follow. Once that shape is shaded in, I go in with this Urban Decay Brow Blade. This is the shade Dark Drapes. It has this felt tip, it creates the most realistic hair-like strokes. Then I will go in and create those strokes and that's it, the brows just look perfect all day. Last but not least, my favorite part is the lips. Couple tips, if you want something that's super long lasting on the lips and you don't wanna have to worry about reapplying throughout the day, you wanna go for a matte liquid lipstick. Maybelline has incredible ones. I will also link below, but another one that's great is Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipsticks. I personally think my lips get chapped way too often and I don't mind reapplying throughout the day. But what I like to do is use a lip liner first to create that longer lasting base. So I'm using the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the shade Pinky Brown, and we're gonna keep this very, very natural. Something that just adds a little color to the lips. And I'm gonna go on top with my favorite nude lipstick shade of all time, and it's from the drugstore, it's under $8. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Lipstick in the shade Toasted Almond. This is that perfect pinky nude that is just absolutely perfect for an everyday look. I would feel comfortable wearing this to work, to school, literally anywhere. You can also add a gloss on top for a little pop. The last step that you cannot skip before you leave the house, setting spray. This is what's going to make sure that your makeup lasts even if there's an apocalypse going on. My favorite setting spray of all time is the One Size Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. This stuff, You know why it's so good? You can feel it working on your face. It literally feels like hairspray for the face. But trust me when I say your makeup is going to stay locked in. It's not gonna move. And that's it, you are done. This look is just so unbelievably easy. It's like the perfect no makeup makeup look. Because do you see how my skin still looks like my skin? Like you can still see the little texture and the little breakouts peeking through. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look cakey. You get this perfect pop of color with the blush and the bronzer. You can even add some eyeliner if you want to. I choose not to because I just feel like that's way too much work. I feel like a baby wing would look so perfect with this, especially if you're going to transition it from day to night. You can play around with it, make it your own. You don't have to use blush. You don't have to use bronzer. You can use your hands to do the whole thing. You don't even really need tools. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do a fully drugstore makeup look too because drugstore makeup has been absolutely killing it lately. Also, you don't have to spend a ton of money to still get a good makeup look. If this video helped you in any way, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me out as a new YouTuber. If you don't want to miss out on more beauty and skincare and perfume and hygiene content, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I will be back with another video very soon. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.